Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today I'm gonna to answer the question, should I bring an extra e-bike battery on my ride? Stick around. All right, so today we're gonna to answer the question, should I bring an extra electric bike battery on my ride? But before I do, hit the subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, be the first to know about all our new products, new content, and of course, giveaways we're doing for bikes, e-bikes, and accessories. Hit subscribe. All right, so e-bikes are pushing the limits of riding. People are riding farther, it's amazing. Someone that could be going 10 miles before is now going 30 miles. And something that's happened to me is I've gotten caught with my e-bike dying because I've tried to push too far. And so, I'm gonna answer the question, should I bring an extra battery on my ride? Well, this is of course up to you, and it's a very personal question. There's two factors that play in. One, buying the extra battery, and two, carrying around and a little additional weight on your ride. Now, in case of 630 e-bikes, like we have two here, our Every Journey e-bike and our um, <clears throat> Pave and Trail e-bike, our batteries are on the rear rack here and it's very easily removed with a key right here. And each of these batteries weighs eight pounds. And on our website, these cost $350. If you don't have a 630 e-bike, you can obviously check your manufacturer and see how much their extra batteries cost. I would say market range is gonna be somewhere between um, 200 to 500 dollars maybe as low as 150 depending on the capacity our battery right here is a 48 volt 10.4 amp hour this is to power our 500 watt e-bikes now every motor um, is going to have a different battery size different you know 500 watts have typical battery size 750 watts so you'll have to check with your manufacturer but i would say if Budget is no issue and you don't mind having an extra battery on a ride is a great idea. Now, I would say this really depends on also the range you intend on going. The one thing I've ran into with e-bikes is sometimes you end up going further than you had anticipated because they're so much fun and they do a lot of the work that you can push much farther than you first had anticipated. So if that's someone, if that's something that happens to you frequently, definitely take the extra battery with you. Now, the thing with the range on e-bikes and all e-bike companies is the battery range is very much determined by the rider weight, the conditions, the terrain, and also the level of pedal assist or throttle amount that you're using during your ride. So since there's no perfect science and equation to tell you exact range you're going to get on any given ride, if you think, this is my general ballpark idea, if you think you're gonna ride close to 20 miles, I would say bring an extra battery with you on your rides. If Now, if you're not scared of making it or going far and having to ride back under your own power, then you never have to worry about having an extra battery because the beauty of e-bikes is you can ride them as a normal bike. So you always have the option of riding home under your own power. Now, if you think you're gonna be far away and you wanna go you know, 20 miles out, and you wanna make sure you have that battery juice to get you home, or there's a very large hill to get you home, or you have to go up to get home, carry the battery with you. I would say 20 miles, 25 miles is sort of a breaking point where depending on how you've been riding the bike, uh, the type of terrain or the hills, one day you might get 30 miles out of a battery, and next day you may get 15 miles out of the battery. Even when I charge my Tesla, on certain days, depending on how I drove the car previously, the top range that it tells me I have can fluctuate 10, 15, 20 miles, depending on how I was driving the car. Meaning, was I driving on flat ground? How did I use the braking system, the regenerative brakes, same things. So e-bikes are gonna be similar in that every ride's gonna be different. Now, of course, if you do the same route every time, you should be able to get the same range out of the battery. So. That's another point, is if you're exploring a new route and you're pushing to about 20 miles, 25 miles, and you don't want to be left with electricity, yes, bring that extra battery. 
I think for the investment of $350 and the peace of mind, and now you've just doubled your potential range. So on a 630 bike, instead of talking about 30 to 50 miles of range with pedal assist, you're talking about 60 to 100 miles of range when you have two of those batteries. And full throttle, you're talking about, you know, as opposed to 15 to 30 miles before, now you're talking about 30 to 60 miles of range just using throttle. So when I say 20 miles though, you say, well, why if you're only gonna ride 20 miles, should I bring an extra battery? Well, it depends on where you're gonna ride. And also I'm just saying that's a breaking point. If you're gonna go 20 miles or above, it's a good idea to have an extra battery if you don't wanna be left without electricity. And I actually put a bag on here. I just wanna show you how simple this is. 630 has a few bags that you can actually put the battery in, but um, this is eight pounds. Now, for me personally, when you get the bike moving, and especially with the electric motor, this isn't gonna bog the, the battery down that much. Now again, the rider weight's gonna affect uh, the bike more. So we do have a rear mounted bag that can go here. The battery can fit in that. Or in this case, you can actually put the battery in here as well. And it'll fit right in the pannier sideways, just like that. And you can just close that up. And I'll just show you really quickly. And now your battery is in there, no big deal. And if you really wanted to be ambitious, you could fit two batteries in this bag. And I'll just show you, for me, honestly, it makes zero difference in terms of my riding. I can't feel any difference at all. It feels completely normal. Especially when you have the pedal assist in, it feels just like nothing. So it's not gonna have that much of a burden or a bearing on your actual feel of the ride. And then when you go to change it, again, it's very simple. Or swap batteries, you would just take it out, pull this out of the bag, and put this in here. And you're all set. So, my suggestion is Buy an extra battery and have it on hand with you if you're gonna ride 20 miles plus or think you may go 20 miles or more on a ride. It's a huge benefit. The other thing too is it gives you peace of mind to go faster and take on bigger hills because you know you'll have that extra battery. So if you're scared to do a level assist pedal five up a big hill because you don't wanna drain the battery, well bring that extra battery, boom, you've got peace of mind. It adds a lot more of fun and takes the stress out of everything. So. I hope that helps. If you have any other questions at all, please comment below or email us, the team at 630.com, or call us 310-982-2877. And don't forget, if you're in the market for an e-bike, visit our website, 630.com, and take our proprietary body fit algorithm. It's gonna ask you some questions about your body and your life and recommend the perfect electric bike for you. In addition to that, we have a 90 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love your e-bike within 90 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. In addition, we have a 365 day warranty after that 90 days where we'll still take care of your bike, make sure it's working within 365 days so you can always be out and riding. Lastly, join our community, our Facebook peddlers group and download our app. You can talk to other riders before you buy. You can ask questions, see how others are riding their bikes. In addition, you can track your rides on your app once you get your e-bike and compete on our leaderboard challenges weekly for giveaways of accessories, bikes, and e-bikes. In addition, on the Peddlers Group, you can make friends, post photos, and see how others are using their bikes. It's tons of fun. All right, thank you for sticking around, and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.